Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a reading for Sense Scorpio, and keep in mind that this does not resonate for every Scorpio. Like a personal reading? This will be the first link in the description down below. I repeat that. First link in the description down below for a personal reading. You also find a bunch of other things there in the description. You can find my Etsy shop, which has my tarot and my oracle cards on there. A bunch of things there on my Etsy shop in the description down below. You should definitely go check that out. You also find my shirt store, my website. Oh, different social media platforms I'm on, as well as Patreon. All that's in the description down below. If you like donate to the channel, feel free to do so. I do appreciate donations here. So, Scorpio, let's see what spirit has installed for yourself. Alrighty, what do we have? Number 27, Lady of Shalott. Illusion, victim, love, idealism. 25, the Priestess of Avalon. Divine inspiration, ancient knowledge, healing, initiation. Number 15, Mist of Avalon. Boundary, enchantment, illusion, transformation. Number 20, or 34, with Brigid. Birth, soul empowerment, radiance, passion. Number 26, with Fairy. Nature's magic, playfulness, the guardian's protection. Number 6 with Camelot. Aspiration, trust, honor, ideals. Number 19 with King Arthur. Power, leadership, authority, justice. Number 21 with Igraine. Feminine power, beauty, motherhood, acceptance. A lot of things going on here, Scorpio. So first off, feels like you dealt with some sort of love situation that just wasn't really that great. Okay, Lady of Shallot being there. And now it's like you're moving on to... You have... It, you're... You're setting your focus here on a new path, onto different things. Scorpio, you're kind of moving forward, away from that. Okay. Feels like you did. You've discovered here the secret world of Avalon, right? With the priestess, we have Arthur here. Fairy's magic, you're working. Bring in something new here now with the priestess of Avalon, with Brigid being there. The altar there. We have Ju or we have a uh, King Arthur bringing in justice. Now we have a grain stepping into more feminine power. Scorpio could be that of motherhood, whether it be now or future or something about a mother there. Seventeen with the Lady of the Lake, the Goddess, Other World, Mystery, Self Knowledge. Or thirty one with Arian Heart. Karma, Anatomy, Life Direction, Fate. Thirty five with the King of the Fairy Realm, Journey, Death and Rebirth, Personal Power, Renewal. Or twenty nine with Sarah Duane, Transformation, Rebirth, Inspiration, Creativity. Number nine with the Chalice Hill, Yin and Yang, Balance, Faith, Wellness. Number 22 with Tillisian. Storytelling, divination, poetry, creativity. Number 14, sacred union, sexuality, growth, vitality, fertility. Number 32 with Bronwyn. Sacrifice, letting go, balance, support. See, letting go of the past. And now you have a connection right here. Like a different connection coming towards you. Where this is like, this is something that was supposed to happen. It's like a divine connection, right? Scorpio. Alright. Where you, you don't it doesn't lead to hurt. Alright? It doesn't lead to this feeling of pain. Alright, but there's a lot of karma, there's a lot of justice being solved here. Right, focusing on your divination, your creativity, you're being you're being rebirthed here into personal power. Alright, passing through the Lady of a Lake through to Receive all of this. Connecting with that there. We're 16 Morgan Lafay. Prophecy, magic, fate, intuition. Or 13 the dragon. Pathfinder, integration, strength, power. 24 with Galahad, Courage, Surrender, Triumph, Purity. 
Chapter 3 with Lancelot, Devotion, Romance, Chivalry, Heroism. Or 12 with the Holy Grail, Wisdom, Regeneration, Life Force, Spirit. Or, or 3, the Isle of Avalon, Healing, Rest, Renewal, Mystery. Or 8, Sacred Grove, Nature, Renewal, Longevity, Protection. Or 7, the Holy Thorn, Optimism, Courage, Sacred Perseverance. See, you're, renewal, you're renewing yourself, Scorpio, as you discover this Isle of Avalon here. You have Morgan Le Fay helping you with all this here. Your spirit, yourself, your personal power is being renewed. Okay? We have the dragon here. That is strength. Alright. Now, what this also tells me, since we have two dragons here, this, this tells me that you and your person are both like this. You're both like these dragons here. Both in this powerful form. Alright? This personal power. That sacred union. And these two dragons. This is victory. Eighteen with the Marlin, Equilibrium, Perception, Magic, Alchemy. Or one with the Abbey, Serenity, Shared Blessings, Interconnectedness, Purpose. Or twenty with Guinevere, Sexuality, Love, Beauty, Feminine Power. With thirty, Round on. Endurance, Focus, Integrity, Perseverance. Or eleven with Excalibur, Action, Truth, Sovereignty, Power. Or five with the white spring, protection, healing, energy, gratitude. Or thirty-three with blood wit. Manifestation, authenticity, renewal, freedom. Or twenty-eight with Nimu. Opportunity, confidence, respect, self-esteem. Okay, there's very magical quality here. We have the um, fairies. Magic. We have the priestess of Avalon there. With Nimu. Okay. And we have Merlin here. Being gifted with this power, Scorpio, like I said, getting I'm gifted more power, all right, more spiritual power. That's what's being renewed to you, but there's even more than what you had before. So begin to your feminine or your masculine power here, whichever one you are. All right, but this is all happening in the season of spring. You are being protected here, and there's a need to share those blessings that you receive with others as well, so you keep that flow flowing. Okay, but you're connected with all that. You're connected with Rihanna here. You're connected with Merlin. You're connected with Morgan Le Fay, Arthur. All of them here, Scorpio. To really bring this all in. So let's get some runes, some charms here. Set. We have Anubis. We have this sun scarab beetle, so you're connecting with this sun scorpio. We have the scarab beetle that you're connecting with as well. We have the green man, which you're connecting to. We have communication coming forward. We have changes here, and we have things opening for you. We have a lot of we expect a lot of movement, Scorpio. Okay, but you do see that in this reading here. There's a lot of movement here. There's letting go, moving into the new, but also getting yourself back. And we also have a connection coming towards you where it's an actual connection instead of like actual genuine feelings. all I have for you, and like I said, first link in the description down below for a personal reading. Also go to my Etsy shop. Go in there, go buy something. Really appreciate that. If you want to see more content, don't forget to like, subscribe. Bye guys.